update on a First Coast News investigation. You may remember these images of high school football players in Thomasville, Georgia, given IVs on the bus to football games. Well, after our team spent months looking into these actions, the school board is moving to a new hydration process for its students. Tonight on your sides, Alex Ositas has this follow up story. This picture sent to us months ago, showing a Thomasville student athlete getting an IV treatment on a bus before a game. Fast forward months later, the district says it's moving towards sports drinks and gels, and that IV program is no more. More than six months looking into how Thomasville City School athletes were hydrating before games. IV, IV drips administered on buses and in hallways. Controversial even among the doctors we spoke with. Now, a policy of the past. An email exchange with school superintendent Lane Rickert saying that the district is moving away from treatments that would require doctor's orders and that IVs in the future would only be used in emergency situations. We consulted Southeast Orthopedics Dr. Kevin Murphy, a former football player himself, about what the changes mean for the health of athletes. The standard practice is not to give them IVs prophylactically to prevent cramps. Dr. Murphy adds in terms of player development, there are major red flags with consistent IV use. Well, repetitive introduction of an IV into a vein, and they're doing it over and over again, you can get sclerosis of the vein, uh, which can affect the vein, and you can throw little clots. Uh, you can get infections. We called and emailed members of the Thomasville School Board, but those went unreturned as of Wednesday afternoon. We also asked Rickard about the potential cost of the switch, those numbers still being verified. Dr. Murphy says whatever costs pale in comparison to player health. And then if you're going to be doing that activity for more than an hour, those sport drinks are better because they replace your electrolytes. Short of an hour, water is really adequate. Still ahead at six, what the statewide agency overseeing all of these decisions has to say about this situation. I'll have that coming up. Reporting, Alex Osiris, First Coast News, on your side.